What if their conversations are already revealing signs of brain decline and no one is noticing? They're not stuttering, they're not confused, but something feels wrong. Their replies don't match the question, their reactions feel off, and the way they respond makes you stop and wonder, are they really okay? These strange conversational signs often appear years before dementia is diagnosed. And if you're not paying attention, you'll miss the moment the brain starts to break down, not in silence, but in speech. Let's start with number one, answering the wrong question. Three years before his diagnosis, Herschel, 75, began giving odd responses that didn't match what was asked. If someone said, how was your walk? He might answer, yes, I think the soup is still in the fridge. His family brushed it off at first, but over the next year, he began forgetting names, misplacing items, and repeating appointments. That's when they realized something deeper was happening. A 2023 study revealed that people in the early stages of dementia often experience disruptions in auditory comprehension and response coordination. They may hear the words clearly, but the brain misprocesses them, leading to irrelevant or mismatched answers. This is due to weakening neural activity between the superior temporal gyrus and prefrontal cortex, which handles speech recognition and context. When someone gives an answer that doesn't match the question and doesn't seem to notice, it's often the brain's first sign of conversational breakdown. Number two, changing the subject abruptly. Ramona, 77, was describing a family wedding when she suddenly blurted out, did we feed the cat today? Her daughter looked confused, but Ramona continued as if nothing had happened. Over the next year, she became more forgetful, started losing track of bills, and asked the same questions multiple times. 18 months later, the diagnosis came, Alzheimer's. Findings suggest that early dementia causes disruptions in topic maintenance as the prefrontal cortex weakens. This brain region is essential for organizing thoughts and sustaining focus in conversation. When it breaks down, the brain pulls in unrelated thoughts, often inserting them mid-sentence, making speech seem erratic or impulsive. If someone frequently changes the subject without reason and doesn't realize it, it's not just distraction. It may be cognitive disorientation starting to take hold. Number three, misunderstanding, jokes, or sarcasm. Carol, 68, always had a sharp sense of humor, but four years before she was diagnosed with dementia, something changed. Her son joked, well, I guess we'll be having snow in July, and she replied, oh, should I get the coats out? The confusion didn't stop there. She stopped recognizing sarcasm, missed punchlines, and eventually began forgetting people's names. Neurologists believe this happens when dementia begins affecting the right hemisphere, which processes non-literal language like irony, metaphors, and sarcasm. This side of the brain interprets emotional tone and intent, but as it weakens, jokes are taken literally and responses become flat. As a result, the person appears emotionally disconnected even when they're trying to engage. When humor stops making sense and sarcasm is taken at face value, it's a red flag that the deeper layers of language comprehension are starting to fall apart. Number four, interrupting at the wrong time. Kenneth, 70, had always been thoughtful. He never interrupted others. But two years before his diagnosis, he started cutting people off mid-sentence, blurting out random stories that didn't connect. Soon after, he began forgetting the names of friends and once got lost driving home from the doctor's office. Research shows that impulse control often weakens in early dementia as the frontal lobe begins to decline. This brain region helps track conversation timing and recognize social cues like when to pause or speak. As that control slips, people interrupt too early or speak out of rhythm, unaware that their timing is off. Sudden impatience in conversation may signal deeper disruption in the brain's social regulation. 
Number five, laughing in serious situations. Grover, 72, began reacting in strange ways during emotional moments. When his wife shared news about a friend's cancer, he chuckled and said, well, that's life. It was disturbing and the behavior kept happening. Over the following months, Grover also began forgetting where he parked, missing birthdays, and misplacing his wallet. Three years later, he was diagnosed with early-stage dementia. Experts report that inappropriate laughter can stem from early damage to the right orbitofrontal cortex, a brain region responsible for emotional interpretation and social inhibition. As this area deteriorates, People may misread the emotional tone of conversations and respond in ways that don't match the situation. It's not humor. It's a sign that the brain is losing its ability to register what's serious and what's not. If someone starts laughing when no one else is, especially during somber moments, it's a warning that emotion and meaning are no longer being processed correctly. Number six, going silent mid-conversation. 67-year-old Francine was halfway through telling a story when she just stopped. She stared for a moment, looked around, and said, What was I saying? It became a pattern. She'd pause unexpectedly, lose her train of thought, then quickly change the subject. A few months later, she began repeating herself and forgetting simple tasks. That's when her family grew worried. She was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in just a year. Research confirms that sudden conversational silence is tied to early impairment in the working memory loop, particularly between the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and parietal lobe. These regions help us hold thoughts in place while speaking. When they begin to fail, speech breaks down mid-sentence because the brain loses track of what it was trying to say. When someone begins freezing mid-conversation, then brushing it off like nothing happened, it may be the brain's first signs of losing real-time memory control. Number seven, responding too late to what was said. Felix, 79, didn't react right away when spoken to. If someone asked, want some tea? He'd pause, sometimes for 10 seconds or longer, and then say, wait, what did you say? His responses were delayed, like being on a different time track. He was never like this before, once quick-witted and sharp. He now seemed to process everything in slow motion, as if his mind was struggling to keep up with the moment. Over the years, he began forgetting recent phone calls and struggling to remember dates. Within two and a half years, doctors confirmed the diagnosis, early-stage Alzheimer's disease. Experts report that this pattern reflects a slowdown in cognitive processing speed, especially when early dementia affects the posterior cingulate cortex, which links memory and attention. The brain still hears the words, but takes longer to decode, interpret, and respond. It's not hearing loss. It's a lag in how the mind is receiving and acting on information. When someone's answers feel delayed, and that delay keeps growing, it may be a quiet signal that their mental processing is starting to break down. Number eight, talking over people without realizing. About three years before her diagnosis of early onset dementia, Wanda, 74, started interrupting others. Not just once, but constantly. She'd talk over people in the middle of serious conversations and didn't seem to notice what she had done. Her family thought she was becoming self-centered, but soon she was forgetting who she had spoken to that day and mixing up family members' names. Studies suggest that this behavior is often linked to early degeneration of the anterior cingulate cortex, which plays a role in self-awareness and impulse monitoring. When this part of the brain weakens, the person loses their internal social compass. They speak over others, miss emotional cues, and struggle to adjust their behavior in real time. If someone begins dominating conversations or interrupting constantly, even in situations where they used to be respectful, it may be more than personality. It may be disinhibition caused by early brain decline. Number nine, 
not noticing when the conversation ends. Malcolm, 76, began lingering awkwardly after conversations had clearly ended. Someone would say, okay, talk soon, and hang up, and he'd sit there with the phone still to his ear. It was subtle, but his wife noticed. He also began losing memories and misplacing items over the years. That's when she insisted on a full evaluation. Malcolm was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and it was three years after his wife first noticed the change in his behavior. Neurologists note that this behavior stems from impaired social timing awareness, driven by early deterioration in the temporoparietal junction, a key region for interpreting social cues. People with early dementia may not pick up on body language, tone shifts, or verbal closure signals, and they struggle to tell when it's time to stop talking or walk away. When someone no longer senses that a conversation is over and lingers in silence, it's a quiet but revealing sign that their perception of social flow is fading. They don't always forget first. Sometimes, dementia begins with a pause, a blank stare, or a misplaced reply. And by the time memory loss appears, the damage has already begun. Notice these early conversation clues, and you might catch what others never do. And there you have it. What are your thoughts? Next, dive into this video for more essential tips to transform your health and help you thrive. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching Healthy End, and we'll see you there.